Okay, today we are mending a fence and fixing a sagging gate. I just got started and forgot to get the camera out, so I got you with me now. A little bit of play on the hinge side. So I'd like to somehow attach this to the house, um, but I'll have to see what I'm working with once I get to that part. Pretty rock solid down there at the bottom and once we replace the other post it'll really shore this side up well this gate here has come apart and what I'm gonna do is kind of cinch it up yeah, that sun glare I'm gonna start by pushing it towards the house and then reattaching this to this and this is the missing part that came off of there with new screws See how my section of fence is going up. Got to clear the rocks out down there. Get that to drop down.
Had to make some few minor adjustments there. Now that this is secure to the house, this will never sag. The gate will never sag until these screws loosen up. But that post will never move. It can break off at the bottom. It still is secure to this house. close up of our post mender and our post over here I haven't fastened the fence to it yet I'm gonna uh, let it cure overnight and then we'll screw our rails in and put our pickets back on So that video wasn't my best work uh, as far as filming and editing goes. Uh, there was a segment that got deleted uh, or didn't get filmed because the battery died and that was the dry pour for the new posts. And what a dry pour is, uh, you can use it on fence post replacements, mailboxes, uh, things like that. You just dump the dry dry concrete into the hole around the, um, the post and a lot of guys don't even add water uh, when the soil is uh, wet moist but what I do is I uh, fill it up with the, uh, the cement mix uh, say five or six inches add some water and just build my way all the way up to grade and um, it just mixes itself and turns into a big block of uh, concrete. I know it looks like this house is, is a really nice house, but um, they didn't want to spend money on a new gate. Um, it's just the way it is. They wanted it just repaired at, I, I can't even remember what I charged for this, but I think it was like 250, 275. So if you have any questions, uh, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. 